and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. <laughs> Damas is some perspectives that maybe will help you to understand where I'm coming from or help you to understand how you can make some better decisions in the future. This video is about, about the early voting situation. I'm glad that I'm going to just wait until the last minute to turn in my ballot. Or actually, I'm going to go vote in person on November 8th here in Los Angeles. And one of the uh, races that I was going to uh, talk about right now is the race for mayor. The mayor of Los Angeles, but it was right now it's Eric Garcetti. He's an interesting character, but I don't even want to get into that. Because what I want to express and have my message is about how I changed my view on Rick Caruso. Um, he's rich, I guess he's able to serve as mayor without getting paid for it, or get a dollar or whatever, which I don't even know if that's attractive to you. If that's attractive to you, please write in the comments. I had this, this very general opinion about Karen Bass, but after seeing Rick Caruso's commercial, it just reminded me about a lot of the videos that I do post. The, they cover loyalty, they cover self-righteousness, they cover a, a whole lot of different varieties of subjects in my video. And the one thing that really stuck out is loyalty. If you see Rick Caruso's commercial, you can even go ahead and type it on the search engine. He's very proud of going from being a Republican to a Democrat, which I don't know if that necessarily is something to be proud of, but it seems to me like he's pandering to a certain segment of the population. Like, is he under the assumption that there's a lot more Democrats in Los Angeles? Which it probably, probably is. But there's a good amount of Republicans, too. And because of what's happening in the political situation, there is a lot of um, upheaval the last two years. It's been it's been a mess. I mean, like, I don't I can't really spell it out. I'm sorry. I don't have a really great political IQ. But the position where I'm coming from is about loyalty and self-righteousness. That's that's what attracts me to Karen Bass. She's loyal to her cause. She's always been consistent. She's always been the same way, as far as I know. But for Rick Caruso to talk about, oh, I was so-and-so, and now I changed it. Like, even the abortion situation, you know, like, if you watch my videos, you know I'm pro-life. You know, the whole abortion thing is a very complex situation because, yeah, you don't really know about making a decision like that unless you're in their shoes. And it, <laughs> it's not really so, so, like, spelled out. You know, I come from a biblical perspective that life is precious. And then you could even go further, like, the Bible says do not commit fornication. So, I mean, if you take the, the I'm not, I, anyways, I don't want to go off on a tangent, but it's obvious. If you are consens, con, having consensual sex and then a product is a baby, then what did you expect is going to happen? So, <laughs> you know, if you get two people, the opposite sex together 
anyway, that's going to happen, but in, I'm not going to go too off too much of a tangent. My point of making this video is that I think Karen Bass would make a better mayor than Rick Caruso. Rick Caruso has tons of money and he has lots of commercials. And I think the commercial, if you are a critical thinking person, that commercial will make you be like, wait a minute, this guy is just uh, pandering to a certain segment of uh, society to become the mayor. I don't know what kind of prestige or anything that comes with being a mayor. I mean, the, uh, I go f as back as like, I remember Tom Bradley being mayor. You know, I'm not sure exactly all the responsibilities. But with that said, Karen Bass was on the bottom of my list. But because I waited to turn in my ballot and I waited for all the information to come out before I made a decision, I totally changed my mind because uh, I wasn't attracted to Karen Bass as a mayor. I just thought she's just one of those uh, politicians, one of those just people kind of there to symbolize um, like authority or leadership or whatever. So I hope I just made it clear. The idea is to wait to turn in your ballot until all the information comes about. And, you know, R's and D's on the ballot does mean a lot to me and it does kind of persuade a lot of my opinion because yes, I am more attracted to the R's, but then if you have two Democrats going for the same position, you gotta, that, that's when you gotta be more uh, vigilant and more analytical about your vote. Because you want your vote to count. That's why I'm, I'm glad that I waited to turn in my ballot. Just like reading all the propositions, you got proposition one, which is really scandalous. So information guide it has a pretty good explanation about everything. You know, I can't say that I, I, I dug deep into it. I actually don't really like to read, but um, I hope that doesn't void what I'm trying to say, because I did really make my decision based off of a Rick Caruso ad, because he was bragging about, oh, he's not a Republican anymore. He, he believes in like, uh, abortion, no matter what kind of thing, it's just uh, very m m more. It's very important. If you take anything away from this video that I made, be patient, keep it cool, always. Be vigilant, be sober-minded, and make the best decisions based on the facts. I mean, it's clear, again, if you have critical thinking, you'll understand, hey, this guy was loyal to one thing, but flip-flop. So loyalty is really important. Of course, it depends on who you're loyal to, who and what and where, what your loyalties lie. And then the self-righteousness, the self-righteousness issue comes in play when you're like, wait a minute. I think my way is better, my way is this and that, forget about what other people think. <laughs> There's a lot of good examples in the news today, you know, when it goes everywhere from even Democrats, Republicans, whatever. It's a lot of decision making that takes more of a look at the big, broad picture of the circumstances in society.